So I always see these videos on YouTube of people doing these Christmas Dollar General hauls and I don't know, I'm just like a skeptic because every time I go into my Dollar General, um, it's like in shambles. <laughs> And I just don't have a lot of faith, but I'm going to take you in there with me today and uh, we're going to see what they have, uh, both Christmas and otherwise. These would actually be really good stocking stuffers. All of these Kit Kats and Reese's and stuff for a dollar a bag. I feel like that's pretty good. I haven't been in here for a while, but I do feel like they have quite a large like grocery section. And some of the prices are pretty decent, like these Progresso soups, three for five, that's a good price. They have like Campbell's soup, $1.25 is not the cheapest you can buy, but it's not terrible either. They've got a pretty decent selection of cards too, um, Christmas and otherwise. Some ones for a dollar and some for less than a dollar. I might actually pick up some tape because I always feel like scotch tape is one of those things you think you have a bunch of and then you go to wrap presents and it's like, whoops. They've got a pretty decent selection of like Tupperware storage, food storage containers too. Look at these, it's a rainbow. I'm not gonna buy them, but they're pretty. This is actually pretty cool for like a meal prep container. It's like a traditional kind of like divided plate. And then they have these Pillsbury, I've never seen these before, Pillsbury uh, storage containers. These are sandwich size. This is actually a good, a good size. I don't know. I don't need any more of these, but I like looking at them. I'm actually kind of impressed with the condition of this store. Like, they must have gotten new management or something because it's a lot cleaner in here than it has been. I'm going to grab some of these disinfecting wipes just because I don't have um, any right now. I'm out and I like to just use them for like quick, quick, quick cleanup jobs. Oh, those smell good. They've got quite a bit of Christmas candy, so I might look through some of this and see. If I can find any stocking stuffers, I'm trying to just buy it little by little. I do think the Christmas aisle is in a little bit of disarray, as you can see here. Um, I do have a tiered tray at home, like a white one, that I'm going to be decorating. So I might try and look for a few things to put in that. Like things that can sit in there, like this would be cute. Sometimes little ornaments, if you can like set them up in the tray. Oh, that's cute too. Only a dollar. They do have some cute ornaments, honestly. They actually have some really good, like, tins here if you're gonna do Christmas baking. They've got these um, little mini ones, and then these I think are so cute. They're $3. They're a little, like, nutcracker and snowman tins, and then they've got these ones with the windows in the top. These are $2, which I actually think is a really good price, and I really like these. These larger um, gifting containers because and then they also have a handle on them. They have these two foot um, lighted trees. I think I'm actually gonna get this white one. I don't want the snowman, but I saw a white one that was decorated really pretty with um, colored ornaments. So I think I'm gonna grab this. It's only $13. I think they do have a new manager here because I, I just saw them and it's a different person than I knew was running this before. But anyway. Um, these are really cute. They're not Christmas. They're just tabletop lamps, but they're only $10. My kids are kind of old for this stuff now, but if you do have kids that like coloring books and stuff, they have the best deals on them here. I shouldn't say my kids are too old for coloring books. They're not too old for coloring books, but I mean like the preschool like workbooks, you know what I'm talking about, where they can like trace their letters and stuff. Like my kids have grown out of those, but I used to get a lot of their stuff here at Dollar General because they have such a great um, selection but they also have, they have some cute gift tags here and got this ceramic mailbox it says letters to Santa isn't that cute I don't think I really have a place to put that but it's cute they've got cookie cutters too if you need those now this is actually kind of cool this says it's a dry erase canvas and then you put your you know what you're having for dinner on there grocery list i don't know how this would work like it doesn't seem like stuff would wipe off of there but maybe i'm wrong it's kind of cool i am gonna grab some gift bags because these are pretty good price two for a dollar that's definitely cheaper than dollar tree obviously 
are cute too. These are all really cute actually. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I'm gonna have to get some of these. I always stock up on bags, like gift bags, because I always find that I'm like running out of the size that I need. And then it's like Christmas Eve and I'm trying to wrap stuff and I don't have enough bags. All right, so here's everything that I got at Dollar General. I was very pleasantly surprised by the Christmas stuff that they had, so I'm excited to share with you guys. So I shared this with you in the store. This is that uh, like two foot pre-lit white tree. And you can see here, this is the snowman um, head that came on at the top of it. I am not gonna use that with it right now, but I'm gonna save it in the box just in case that's what I wanna do with it later. And then these were like the three kind of like buttons that were on the tree for like the snowman's buttons. But I was e able to easily cut those off. And I think what I'm gonna do with this is maybe put it in Kira's room just so she has a little tree in there. She doesn't have one right now. Um, as I'm decorating the regular tree today, I'm gonna pull out any like small, um, you know, ornaments that are this size and brightly colored and save them for this tree because I think it would just be cute to have like a white tree with really bright colored ornaments on it. I don't know. I'm super happy with this. I mean, you really can't beat that for $13 and it is powered um, with three AA batteries. You have a timer on there and then an on off. So I don't know. I just thought this was super cute and I think that she's gonna like it. Okay, so I also picked up a bunch of gift bags. I always need more and more of these every year. I do save them if they're in good condition, but it's always nice to have a variety on hand when you're wrapping gifts. So they had these smaller ones. These were two for a dollar, so I got all the patterns that they had. I thought their patterns were actually pretty um, cute and they're pretty sturdy. A lot of like red truck theme stuff this year. Um, I got this gift bag. This one has a red truck on it. I thought that was cute. I really like the color scheme on this one with the blue and the bright colors. Here's another red truck. Here's another red truck. This one's a little bit bigger. And then I thought this one was really pretty, this Let It Snow kind of holographic one. And then I showed you guys this one, this Very Merry Christmas. Um, that's This is a big one, so... Again, I don't know what I'm going to put in these yet, um, but it's just nice to have a variety of these on hand as I start wrapping gifts. So they did have a really great selection of these kind of cute, um, I don't know, sort of like more rustic, I would say, ornaments. Um, so I got this pitcher with like the holly berries in it. This one I thought was really cute. It's like a front door and it says Mary on it. I told you guys I have a tiered tray that I'm going to put in my front entry and I need stuff to put on that. And so things like this are really good because I can actually cut the hook part off of the ornament and then just set it in the tiered tray like that. Um, I got this little wreath with the pine cones. These were only a dollar each, but I didn't say that already. And then this one with the little bucket, that one sets up on its own too. So I thought those were really sweet for only a dollar each. Um, I got this tape measure. It's just a tiny little one. I thought that maybe Adam could keep that in his truck. I'll put it in his stocking. I did also get some ornament hangers. I remember last year that I was running low on these and they were only a dollar. I prefer to get um, the green ones so that they blend in with the tree. So I got those. Um, I got a couple command hooks. I'm going to be hanging a few wreaths in my kitchen and I wanted to make sure that I had enough of these on hand. I got some scotch tape, just two rolls of that to make sure I didn't run out. And then these gift tags are really cute too. 16 of them for only a dollar. I don't know. I just thought they were really neat for that low of a price. Um, and then I did get some containers. Um, my sister and I normally do like Christmas baking every year to do, you know, to give away gifts. Like we do like Chex Mix and different kinds of cookies and candy and things like that. It's really fun. We haven't done it the last couple of years because of COVID, but I think we are going to do it this year. So I got two of these big round containers. I really like these because I think that they're awesome for like transporting, um, you know, kind of a larger amount of food and they have a snap on lid. So, you know, you can kind of divide out your candy in here, put it in bags or whatever you want to do. So I only got two just because they're kind of large. So I got one of each color. There was a red one with candy canes and a green one with red trucks. And then I really like these two, these tins. Um, I got the square ones. These were $2 each. 
um, but I like that they do have kind of the window in the front. So I got two of this pattern that says have a holly jolly Christmas and then one of the Merry Christmas with the red truck and then I thought this one was really sweet too and cute. <laughs> it's like a little snowman um, and a Santa on it. So um, I assume that if I need more and I try to go back in a couple weeks, <laughs> they'll all be gone. So I wanted to make sure I got them while they were there. Um, but like I said, I, I felt like they had a really good selection of bags and wrapping paper and Christmas things. I don't need any more wrapping paper right now, but if you do, they had some really cute wrapping paper as well. Um, we're going to have some people over tomorrow for dinner, so I needed some cups and some plates. I got two packages of these red, um, just plastic cups, and then I also got three packages of these hefty um, paper plates. These are the larger ones, so there's 15 in each package. Um, I always get extra just because sometimes people throw away their plate and then they want to go back for more <laughs> after the fact. So I got three packages of those. Um, I'm gonna be doing like some themed, um, like a themed charcuterie board. And I need specific colors of M&Ms. So I'm gonna actually ask Connor if he'll help me pick out the colors I need for that. But you guys will be seeing that in an upcoming video. Um, I got some stocking stuffers. So these little Kit Kat thins, I got two bags of those. I have to take inventory on my stocking stuff because I feel like I'm like nearing the end of what I'm going to get for candy. That would be good. Then I can just work on like non-food stuff for the stockings. But um, I always get these for the kids every year, these nerds ropes. They really like them. So I got one for each of the kids' stockings. Um, and then I did get two um, canisters of the Lysol slash Clorox wipes. Um, one in the brand new day. This is a smaller one. I just like to keep one of these upstairs and one of these downstairs in case I need to do a quick wipe down in the bathrooms. And then I got one of these Clorox Sentiva. This is the grapefruit um, scent. It smells really, really good. And then they had these Febreze plugins on sale for $4, which I thought was a really great price. Um, we do use these uh, in, our, in our plugs, well, actually on all floors. Um, and so whenever I find these on sale, I always grab them. This one smells really good as well. Oh, and by the way, I did get some flowers. Um, I got some from Table Rock and some from Samantha at Happily Housewife. So thank you to both of you for um, thinking of me. That was really sweet. They are beautiful and I'm doing my best to keep them alive <laughs> for as long as possible. Um, I did get Kira a new brush. She, I don't know where she put hers if she took it to swim and lost it or something, but she needed a new one. I normally get her the wet brushes, but this is this one is pretty comp comparable to the wet brush. It was only $2, so I grabbed that for her. I also got her some more toothpaste, and then with her braces, she's been liking to use um, an electric toothbrush. She says she feels like that helps her get her teeth cleaner, so I got her another one of these. This is the Oral-B um, 3D White power toothbrush and then I also got both her and I some more of these uh, gum soft picks so I like this package because it comes with a plastic case so I can keep some in my purse um, for like if I'm out and eating somewhere and I need to get stuff out of my braces so that's everything that I got at Dollar General like I said I was super impressed with the selection they had um, the store was a lot cleaner than I had seen it in the past um, not like you know towers of boxes <laughs> you know piled up in the aisles and things like that so uh, we'll definitely be going back again let me know if you guys have been to dollar general lately and uh, how you like it if you found anything thanks for watching today's episode of vlogmas and i'll see you tomorrow for another video bye